Do you know who's coming over today, Pollux? Looks like you're sleepy today. I oh, know. You better get your... Well, what's in your eye? Better get your seeps in before they get here. Oh, back to sleep, he said. <gasps> there he is. Hey, Max, what you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to, I keep asking him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let Maxie bark, get all the running out, then we'll go in. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Pollock. Now, Pollock's will be happy, right? Oh, yeah, he, he's fine. It's Maxie. Oh, look at Pollock's pretty hair. Oh, my gosh, look at that sticking it out. Hi, Maxie. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Just say hi. <laughs> Pollux, you're drooling. Oh, he wants to see you, Charlie. Pollux does. Pollux, you are showing off. Not going in. You need, need to calm down, buddy. Just oh. calm down. I know. Just calm down. It's okay. <laughs> Max is going to stay on the outside. Oh, my word. Like, I can't figure out what he's doing. This is like a maze. Well, well this will wear him out. him when he's on the other side. Yeah. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, yeah. He's going to stay. Are they leaving, Max? They're leaving? You gotta stay with us, buddy? Oh, I know. I know, Moo, tell them about it. Max is here. Y'all remember Max, my sister's dog. The 130 pound Bernice Mountain Dog is here for the weekend. 8.30 in the morning, my sister and her family are headed to Lexington for the weekend, so we are Max sitting. I've been telling Pollux and Maxie for weeks that Max was coming over because Max is a whole something. He's so big, he's so tall, but he's super skinny. We're just trying to get everybody calmed down, get the barking over with. They've all been running in the yard, and we, we, and we just want to simmer down for a minute. Let everybody get acclimated. Max is investigating the house, seeing what all he missed since the last time he was here. And you know, Brecken and Kendall have both been here with their cats, and so Max has gone upstairs to do some sniffing around. So uh, it's gonna be a whole weekend, and y'all are gonna get to see every bit of it. Are you just chilling outside, bud? You can go run with Pollux. So Max has been here about five hours at this point. And the boys all finally calm down. They'll get settled down and they'll lay down and there will be a sound or one of them will move and they all come jumping up. They're so skittish and so aware that Max is here. But it's so funny. He, Max is literally attached to me. I guess he's not used to his surroundings. And if I move, he moves. He is attached to my leg. I was in the bathroom trying to get dressed because I have to go to work and I was putting on makeup. And this is a video I took of Max and I sent it to Randy and I sent it to my sister to show them Max is in the bathroom with me. We cannot have one inch between me and Max. Right, Max? Not one inch. Max does not want to eat his food, which my sister said he doesn't eat all the time. But I keep trying to feed Max. He's not going to eat, but he is totally fine with getting all the snacks and treats and things that Max and Pollux are getting. And Max does not like it when it's hot. It is 70 degrees outside right now, right Max? He doesn't like to get hot. So he'll come outside for a second and then he goes back in. He's laying on the kitchen floor. He's laying on the hardwood floor. He does not like hot. He likes it cold. Can we get our picture without you slobbering all over me? We can! Hi Max! Hi Max, let's get our picture. Get our picture. He's so funny. <laughs> He's just so big. His tongue and his tail. And he, his feet, oh my God, his feet. Come here, let me see your feet, Max. Let's just look at them. Big, hairy, hairy feet. Do y'all want a treat? Oh, look, he can get up here and see what's on the counter. Treat for Max. No, he doesn't like these treats. Okay, Max, he'll take it, no problem. 
Max, would you like a different treat? Let's see, you want one of these treats? He likes these kinds. Take that. Okay. Now, I just tried to give you one of those and you didn't like them. You want another one of these? Sundays for dogs. Maxie said, wait just a second, he got two. Oh my goodness, now. Okay, Pollux, would you like one? There's one for Pollux. Well, guys, another one for Max. And yet another one for Max. Pollux, you want one more? You gotta catch up, bud. One more for Pollux, okay. Now do you just plop right down in the kitchen floor? Does that feel good on your belly? Oh, is your tongue out? The cold feels good on your belly, huh, Max? I bet it does. Look, he's almost as big as my entire kitchen. <laughs> I moved, so he moved. <laughs> I'm sorry, Max, I'm never still. And now we're right here. Oh, Alex is here too. Okay, it's okay, buddy. Max, what kind of position are you laying in? You got your head down here by your tail and your legs are out to the side, bud. Look at that sweet little face, y'all. So, so sweet. Those eyebrows, the little brown dots over the eyebrows. <laughs> Max, do you need to go outside, bud? No. No. Hey, hey. Oh my gosh. Stop. Stop. Okay. Guess not. Alex, are you waiting for me? Are you wanting me to come sit with you, buddy? You do? I'll sit with you, Pollux. Mama will sit with you. I seriously sure will. Look here, I'll sit with you. Yeah. I know. Are you feeling a little jealous, buddy? Is this your favorite spot, Max? Laying right outside in the cold air. It's about 45 degrees outside right now. And because uh, Max is a Bernese mountain dog, he basically laid here all of last night and this is where he wants to be this morning, just outside. So last night when, sorry, I just got up. Last night when we went to bed, you know, Max and Polly sleep in our bedroom. Max would not come in the bedroom. Wasn't having it. We could not get him in there. <laughs> he kept coming in the kitchen to lay in the kitchen floor because the kitchen floor is ceramic tile. It's cold. That's where he likes it. So Randy's like, well, what do we do? Do we leave the door open? Will he come in here? I'm like, I don't know. So he never did. All night long, Max stayed in the kitchen. We felt really bad because he wasn't in there with us but he wanted to stay in the kitchen. Last night, when I was at work, Randy kept texting me saying he just had the door open and Max was laying outside. I mean, it was dark, it was 40 something degrees, but this is where he wants to be. And then this morning, after he ate and everybody's been simmered down, he's outside. And I'm freezing out here, but Max won't go potty unless you come outside with him. <laughs> so, I'm having to hang outside while he does his business. I think he did his business. Oh, look who's up. What you got, Max? I think you two need to go play outside. He's a little big for this. In the house. Y'all, there's the chandelier. He said I didn't show a good enough picture of it. There it is. Pollux is just playing it safe, staying in his boat over here. What you got? Did you bring that toy with you, Max? <laughs> oh 
listen, we don't need you to get involved. We really don't. There's nothing you could do, and you don't even play with toys. Max, go in the house and eat, buddy. Go. Go on in. Go, 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 go. Go on in. Go. Go eat. Go, go, go eat. Go, go eat. All right, now, shush. Now, Pollux, you got a minute. Just chill out. Golly. Ignore my hair. I just washed it. It's still in the process of drying, but I had to come outside and lure Maxie and Pollux outside because Max won't eat if Maxie and Pollux are around him. And I fed him this morning, fed him breakfast, and then he threw up all over our living room. <laughs> so... We know he's got to be starving. He didn't, he ate a very small dinner last night. Didn't eat a breakfast yesterday because all the dogs are so worked up. Nobody wants to eat properly. Max has had some table scraps, just like Maxie and Pollock have. Right, Mooey? Just, you know, a couple things, but not really a meal. So I'm sitting outside with my wet hair, babysitting Maxie and Pollock. Randy's inside trying to get Max to actually eat his food. Did he eat? Yeah, he ate like their bowl full. Oh, just. Except for the few pieces that he threw all around the kitchen <laughs> that Maxie will go in and clean up. Let's hope he didn't throw it up again. Well, that's why I'm gonna keep him outside. Yeah, stay outside. Oh, mid row, I missed it, Mooey. I wasn't over here. Are you sunning, Moo? It's a nice day to sun, isn't it? Whenever he stands over here at this fence, mm -hmm. he can almost look over the fence. Because <laughs> he's so tall? Mm -hmm. Are you so tall, Max? You're a beautiful boy. So Max loves Randy because Max comes to the office where Randy works every day. And so he loves Randy, right Max? It, Randy's the only guy that Max will let touch him or pet him, Max growls at all other guys, but he loves Randy. So Randy's been outside messing with the pool because we're closing the pool this weekend or tomorrow. And so Max has been outside all day being his helper. Bigger than you now. <laughs> Slobbery too. <laughs> Maxer. I've missed every one, y'all. He's done it three times. Move. You are <laughs> Dust him off, Dad. Golly. Leaves. Oh, look at his front. Look down here. <laughs> Mooey! Oh, Maxie thought you were talking to him. I was. Oh, I thought you were talking to Max in the house. Can you come to that doggy door? Ready? You ready? Oh, good one. I'll hand you yours there. Colix. Moo, look, right here. Oh, well, okay, here. Mooey, I'm just gonna <laughs> forget it. So it's now Sunday morning, and it has been a whole something this morning. Max woke me up at six o'clock this morning, laying outside our bedroom door going, woo, and this howling and this high pitched, like this, it, it's a yawn. It's like he's yawning, but he lets out this super high pitched squeal and he just does it over and over and over until he gets your attention. Well, he got my attention at 6 a.m. So I had to get up, 
come let him outside, feed him. Then, of course, Maxie and Pollux are up, and Brandy was asleep. So, we're trying to be chill and quiet, and there is no such thing as chill and quiet when Max is over. So, last night and this morning, Max was trying to play with Pollux's toys, and you all know what happened last time. Max came over. All of to Pollux's toys got chewed up and slobbered on and torn up, and I had to get Pollux all new toys. And so, I was prepared this time. So this morning, I decided to take away the chicken, which is Pollux's favorite chicken, and got out new toys for each of the boys. Pollux, you got a new toy. You have a little dinosaur. Max has got a rope bone. You like that, Max? And Maxie is under the dining room table with a new catnip toy. <laughs> so everybody has got something new to play with. Right, Paula, you in your boat with your new dinosaur. Oh, 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 gosh. <laughs> Max loves to jump up and down with his toys. He tosses them in the air. He enjoys them so much. Oh, my goodness. It's like he's going to hurt himself. That's what he wants, is to play tug of war. I feel like this is a yard game. <laughs> now, what are you saying underneath here? Yeah, yard game. Drag him out back. <laughs> Randy made the mistake of getting out Earl, which is Pollux's squeaky chicken. You all should know Earl at this point if you've been on my channel. Max is obsessed and he will not put down Earl. <laughs> so just enjoy a little bit of this. Uh -oh, just... <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, boo. Watch out. Let's go outside. Can we go outside with Earl? That would be a fantastic idea. Can we go outside? Go. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, here comes a little bit. Wow. Definitely an outside toy. Oh good, he's gonna lay right there and play with her. That's perfect. So we finally got Max to go outside with Earl just so that we could get away from the squeaking. And he's laying on the top of the porch with Earl because Max loves the cold weather. And now Maxie and Pollux can't get up the stairs to come in because Max is guarding the, the stairs with Earl. And he keeps dropping Earl. Earl rolls down the stairs. He chases it and then brings it back up. And thank goodness my sister just called... <laughs> They're on the way home. They'll be here in three hours. <laughs> Mooey, Max's parents will be here in two minutes. Get your Earl. His mommy's getting ready to pull in to get him pop. Earl's okay. Mama will wash Earl. No, I got him. I got him. I got Earl. Just leave him. Leave him. I gotta wash him. You slobbered all over Earl. 
Hey, Max, your mommy is on the way. She's going to be here in one minute. You better go look out the window for her. Max, come here. Come here, buddy. Oh. He's like, maybe he doesn't want to go home. You're going to have to let me in. Oh. <laughs> okay, back up, sweetheart. No, no, no. Hang on. He's like, my daddy's here too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh wow. Whoa. Don't do that, buddy. Doing? Watch out, Pollux. <laughs> You're going to get me hurt. He's like springing up like a... Oh, yeah. He runs straight at you full force. Run it out. They've been running since 6 this morning. Oh, have they? Oh, yeah. He looks tired. <laughs> now Max is happy, happy. He's got a bad <laughs> hip or something going on. Okay. And I just put a little bit on there and smeared it around the whole thing. And then stirred it. Okay. And that first. See, I will do that look if we cook bacon. I'll take like a tablespoon and drizzle it and mix it up. <laughs> I just don't give him a whole. I didn't want to give him a lot because I didn't want it to make him, you know, already hey, stomach. Hey, don't wait, Max, see you, buddy. Uh, Max. Well, he's just Max. Go, so okay, he, well. Yeah, he won't ride in the back. If I stick him in the trunk, he jumps over the seat. Like, I'm not supposed to be back here. You're with <laughs> Bye. Bye, Max. Hey, I plan to my driver's license. All right, Pollux, he's gone. Oh, did you see him leave? You can relax now, bud. So that was a whole weekend with Max, the Bernice Mountain Dog. Now we're going to cook some lunch and Pollux and Maxie are going to get their very own hot dog as a reward for being such good boys and sharing their home. See you later.